Uh, we, we don't never mention, but we got merchandise. You know, we can you can go on our website and yep. buy all kinds of stuff. You can go to your boys podcast dot com, click merch, get a shirt, yep. get you a, get you a traditional your boys logo. Jasper's meat market Little shirt, Jasper's hats. Meat market. Yep. Pervert's gonna pervert shirt. You can get that. Go for jumpers. Go for jumpers. Go for jumpers there. Yeah. So you can get them all. And we don't plug that a lot, but yeah, man, if you guys want to support us. Go check out our merch store and maybe consider buying a shirt or, you know, something. I'm starting to see a lot of these. Uh, a gift for your loved one. Exactly. Yeah. I'm starting to see a lot of these. Uh, yeah, give it to our, our things on the back of people's windows. Mm-hmm. You know. Decal. See them, yeah. I see them all the time. Mm-hmm. I give them a thumbs up. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Decal. And they don't know who I am, so. <laughs> 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 There's a few people who would probably recognize you. Yeah, well, that's they people I know. My family. If you go by the post office, they'll recognize you. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I've seen him before. That's one thing that I did the other day. I went to the uh, post office. Yeah. No, cool. I went by the post office and uh, by a post office. I was traveling like you do, and um, I was in a part of Georgia that I don't frequent. You know what I'm saying? So unknown territory per se. Yeah, I mean I know it. You know, You've been so there before, but you don't remember it. Yeah. And I noticed well. there was a church right beside the post office. And so it's a little one-road town. It's not anything fancy. It's something like uh, <clears throat> Isla or something. Ira? Something like Maybe. that. Maybe. But the uh, church was getting a new sign, and it said St. Elmo Catholic Church. Mm. Wasn't that a TV show, St. Elmo? Movie. St. Elmo's Fire. Yeah. Okay. There was no Bible person named elmo a real saint named elmo right no that's no. that guy you tickle ain't it yeah that's yeah that's what I, what I thought also he's not a saint no, <laughs> no. definitely not a he's saint. A sex muppet. offender yeah he's, he's a, not a, a sex offending muppet yeah he <laughs> but i thought saint elmo you can't just make up saints mm-hmm. and name your church after it you do I, what every other church does and you say this is the first catholic church yes or this is the second fellowship something yeah you know this is the Baptist Fellowship. Fellowship of Catholic Saints. And the, the farther one. you get south, then it's not just, uh, it's uh, it's not, uh, it's like the fire baptized church, mm-hmm. you know. Oh, yeah. Well, I think you got, well, I, I think, guess with the separation of church and state, yeah. mm-hmm. the church don't necessarily have to follow your standard thought process and rules. Maybe they can just make up whatever they want to, and not but have the, to be held accountable. But I, I feel you, like it, it is. It, I feel like that's the case, especially down south. The longer the church's name is, mm-hmm. the better the chance that they handle snakes and stuff in there. Oh yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah for the, sure. If you could do like a, a chart, and you you know, you know, have the the axis going up, you know, the more the more you know letters in the name, the chance that you have snakes, that graph would just go way, oh, yeah. like just straight up. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I have not uh, been to a. Y'all still handle snakes? Oh yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I hadn't a been to snake. a oh, snake handling <laughs> church. I don't want to go. Um, nah. I bet we know people who have been to them. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you, Chuck's been to one. <laughs> oh yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Well, that's my thing, man. The you know, that's like one of the first stories you know in the Bible, and that snake was kind of the the bad guy. Mm-hmm. So that ever since then, I've always been like, man. Mm-hmm. I ain't really for snakes. Well, y'all wouldn't know anything about this, but men have been to places before, mm-hmm. you know, parties and stuff, mm. when they, when they, you know, passing around a joint. Passing Whoa. around a snake? And, yeah. Oh. And a lot of times they'll pass it. To, you know, if you don't want nothing, say, no, nah, you're the passing that hand to the next guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, at these churches, when they bring that snake around, it's your time. Yeah. Oh, you can't pass. No, you can't pass. Yeah. You, you got to grab that snake. You got to do oh. something with him, you know. You, Throw to this next guy if you want to, or some of them caress him, that snake. Uh, no. Now, do you feel like. Him, yeah, pet nah. him on the head or yeah. something. I don't. I mean, I don't know what goes on in these, you know, revive alls, but I would think that it's kind of like a game of uh, hot potato with the snake, right? You know, you just yeah. don't want to be the one that it does finally bite. When they like, quit playing the music I, and he I, starts I, losing his mind, you don't want to be the one holding him. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. It's like, what is that? Uh, birthday game that you play Russian roulette? No, it's not cheer, Russian roulette. Something with cheer. <laughs> Russian roulette. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah. no, that's not it. <laughs> it's birthday roundup or something where you 
Pin the tail on the Somebody doesn't have a seat and they get their ass beat or something. Yeah, somebody gets uh, People are running around chairs. What are they doing? They're it's bir- you do it at birthdays and stuff. Musical chairs. Yeah, that's musical what I'm chairs. About. You play yeah. music and then you know you ain't got your rump in a seat, you lost. Yeah. You when they quit beating the tambourine to death and you're holding the snake, you <laughs> lost. Yep. You, you lost. get you exiled lost. from the church or like excommunicated. And it's one of those things where it like pauses and you know it's you. So it's like Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> and then that snake's just like Coming yeah. to the cheek, yeah. 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 Since you since you talking about these snakes like in in church and stuff, I was thinking the other day. You know when we talked about God making animals, mm-hmm. you know, you laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I don't even remember it. <laughs> but I got thinking. You know, riding down the road, traveling like I do, yep. and I was getting ready to pull into the diner. I said, oh, no, 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 no. So I kept on thinking about this. And so I got thinking now. Now God made all these animals. I mean, and uh, you know, he was getting tired at the end, I'm sure. But he had, you know, Gabriel or one of them guys told him, said, we got, we got like 22. <laughs> Clayton. 20, yeah. yeah. Clayton, the angel. We got 22 more animals to make. Mm-hmm. God said, oh, me, well, I'm about to run out of idea. Hey, wait, hand me that chicken over there. A chicken? Yeah, hand me that chicken. All right, look. Take him in the back back there and paint him yellow. Paint him yellow. Yeah. Waterproof him. Mm-hmm. Put in some, I don't know, some kind of rubber boots on or something, and stick his kazoo down his throat, <laughs> and call him a duck. <laughs> That's probably exactly how it was. Like, you know what? It's like a draft. When you start, you know, you start something, you got your draft. You can always go back to and take it in different directions. Yep. That was it. Like yeah, the chicken was the thing. It's like, okay, I can do this. What can we do with this chicken? Mm. You know what? Change the feet. Change that beak. Give them a different paint job. And that's what that's he said. We, we got chickens everywhere. Well, we got too many chickens. Well, make something else out of them. Water chicken. Yeah. That's, ah, that's, well, that's how it happened. Well, that's probably what, how it started. Just call them water chickens. Mm-hmm. And then the monkeys in the back started throwing stuff. And God said, duck. And so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it's duck. duck. Or, or the one angel who was, you know, really, really type A, that type A angel. He's like, uh, they're not going to float. <laughs> they're going to sink. <laughs> and then God's like. Well, waterproof them. You didn't think I knew? (laughs) Put Rain-X all over that duck. Well, you do. Get some Rain-X. Yeah, he's going to be fine. (laughs) He's a rubber sealant. Yeah, that's probably how it happened. Yeah. I will, we could do a whole episode on how God made the animals. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe we should. <laughs> well, story time with your boys. You yes. know? <laughs> that, full full Lesson, podcast is just from the, story. the Bible. You, you just Lord. think, you oh. know, just on well, just on one, one speak, like like the monkeys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, but, you know, God told him to sh- shave the hair off his ass, you know. Yeah. Well, that's just that one monkey. Yeah. The one monkey? Yeah, give him, yeah. 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 Give what about that smash face monkey? How you know, many monkeys Looks like he run into something. you name? Now, that's all one? Right. Monkeys. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. Touché. What else do you need Yeah, then you can move over up to baboons, but yeah. that's a different kind of monkey. Is yeah. that the smash face one? That's sm- Well, there's two kinds of smash face. You know, you've seen them monkeys look like they run into something. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like I don't know what they are. To get somewhere and yeah. ran into a sliding that's, glass door. Yeah, that's what happened. They were almost done, and the Clayton, the angel, was like, "All right, put them out there in that pen." And they did. Well, it was you know concrete walls, so they just kept running in the walls. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa! Either Look. there, Clayton was trying to get up. He put his hand on the monkey's face and tried to get up and smushed mm-hmm. it in. You know. Yeah. Plus them them silverback monkeys. How'd that come around? We about to run out of black paint. What, 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 what are you? Well, get some silver. Just run it down his bag. Give yeah. him a strike. You know, you know, give him a strike. Make yeah, him racing strike. Yeah, yeah make, make him, him fast. Give like, him a they're decal. too big to be fast. <laughs> give him a decal or a hair tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> give him a different haircut. <laughs> so I thought about that instead of turning into a diner, which I think was a good well, That was yes. a wise well, decision. No matter what choice. you came up with, it was got to be better than going to the diner. I almost got my camera and filmed myself not going to the diner. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a selfie with it. Didn't go here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would like to think that. Uh, actually, never mind. I don't like to think about much. Speaking of the diner. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I drove by one day. I think it was yesterday, Friday. But they must be they're having an old car show. Yeah. And it was, I mean, it looked cool and everything, you know. And I, was gonna, I wasn't going to go to the diner. I was going to drive through and look at them. Over, but, and I did. And I drove through. But their old car show is different. I mean, they had, they had like a. Like a 76 Pinto. In the Vega. Yeah, like a 78 Vega. 
you know, not really the classics, just the old. So yeah, like an AMC and Pacer, a Pacer, a Pacer, you know, Gremlin. Well, that's like that. It's all them cars nobody wanted. Yeah. You know, the nobody still don't the want bench, them. You know, I mean, the pine riders of cars back in the day. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know? But I got to thinking, you know, probably what happened is they put out a flyer that said all senior citizens free free breakfast on this day, and mm-hmm. they just drove there. You probably yeah. wasn't mm-hmm. the car sure nothing. They just yeah. drove there. Yeah, that's their normal everyday driver. Mm-hmm. Was there a lot of people looking at the cars? No, nobody yeah. looked at them. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> nobody I think inside eat because it was like free breakfast or, or any of the hoods open or anything like that. No, no. Yeah. you yeah. might have just went to the parking lot. I think that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. Now that I after think about the fact, it. after breakfast was over and not free anymore, I bet there was a. L- if it was senior citizens, I bet a lot of people were looking at cars, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. trying to figure out. Damn, is that Which mine? one am I? Is that mine? What did I we come in, Ethel? In my car. I don't have a remote key lock. Yeah, he just keeps find. waving his keys, thinking it's going to beep. Yeah, he didn't have a key. Got a screwdriver. Know where it's at? Screwdriver and turned it off. Oh man, old people are old. Yep. <laughs> Every one of them. Yep. Yep. You know, man, there's a certain, I have respect for my elders. You know, you taught, you taught us that when we were young. Yeah. You did a very good job of doing that. You and mom. Except some of them. Um, them um, <laughs> except for some of them. Yeah. Well, yeah. But that's the thing. Like, I think when you're, when you're a real young kid, you have to just tell children to respect all elders. You that's know? right. But then when you get older, you realize. Didn't mean all of them. Wait a minute. Yeah. They had to tell me all of them. Yeah. Now I can pick and choose which ones deserve it. Oh, yeah. And so that's, you know, that's to the point. I don't know, man. A lot of old people are just, frankly, just, you know. Pieces of shit. Yeah, just just disagree. <laughs> yeah, just disagreeable, you know, just ornery for no damn reason. Well, what the heck did I do to get y'all to put me on that list? <laughs> Uh, we got a list, but you ain't on it, I promise. <laughs> There's a list of them that just don't get it. And some people, we don't need as many people as we have. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but you culling know. them's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like. Yeah, there's rules against that. Yeah. I see, I feel like, I don't know where I was going with it. I agree. Yeah. I can't quit looking <laughs> yeah, at your damn mustache. It's, it's, me, uh, it's, it's magnificent yeah. what it is. I've been trying. This, is, this is for the people. Yeah, Half the episode is me, me doing this. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I, don't, I mean, I care what you think about it, um, <laughs> but, but, but not I really much. Don't. But I also care what you think about it, Dad. But the real person I care about most yeah. is Earl. <laughs> yeah. Because, like I said, when I first, you know, he's unveiled the aficionado. This, he's the mustache aficionado. Yeah, for sure. So I, you know, the the fact that all three are in agreement that it's, you know, it's good. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. The ver- it's the verdict. No, I think I'm you should it. just grow it to where it takes over your whole persona. It's out here. It's yeah. going out here. This is the goal. Oh, like yeah. This link. Yeah, but I want you to quit. Tur- uh, don't tur- uh, turn it up yet. Let okay. it grow up towards your eyes and then get up about halfway like up the eye. Then turn it up. <laughs> That's what I do. Well, see, that. <laughs> Yeah, man, you wouldn't. Well, you got to manage so it in the meantime. Right you got you right. got to do something with it in the meantime as it grows. It's a pain in the butt too, man, because I got a curtain on my top lip now. You know, whenever I don't have the wax in it, it you know, it's I look like cousin it on my face. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can't you can't see my mouth. You I'm soft spoken, uh, anyways. Right, can't so hear what you're you saying. Can't hear what I'm saying. Basically, it's like this mustache turned me mute when it doesn't have wax in it. Yeah, would have so been you, real cool if you thought about it. When we had to put all these masks and shit on, you remember that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, you started growing that and put your mask on everywhere you went. Nobody knew you even had it. And then one day you just uh, bang. unveiled it. Yeah. Damn. That would have been like a, that would have been like an actual curtain opening. Oh, yeah. Like an opening yeah. to a, you know, a Broadway show. I guarantee you. Man, I wish I had. We could have had a big unveiling yeah. right here on See, forethought on isn't my best thought. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, you know, uh, unveiling. I went to one of them uh, gender revealing parties. Ginger reveal, ginger yeah. reveals. Ain't that what they call? Did you find out what you were? I did. <laughs> it took me three times, but I did. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I guess, uh, uh, and it's it, it, it's on the other side of town over there. So you know, these white folks, black folks, Asian folks, Indian folks, all them different folks over there. So Multicultural. and we at this, you know, having a good time, having a little drink here and there, and they go, you know. That's the way all the stories start out with I, him. I had a drink. With having a little drink mm-hmm. or two. So you know how they turn downhill fast. You know how they bust something open in, in, in his, you know, pink or for a girl, whatever. But anyway, they have pinata Red set up in the tree. And the, the husband guy, you know, he's the one that 
his, bashes that thing and, and tells what it is. Well, he starts bashing it, you know, and then finally pops that thing open and the smoke's black. No. <laughs> Y'all looking the same way I look. Does it? Uh oh. Yeah, you're like. So oh, I don't. Man. I didn't I don't know, know what, what this to do. Means. That yeah. could be, you know, that could be many things. Well, that's right. See, and I didn't know what to do. I was expecting blue or pink or something, and I didn't know what to do. Well, what does black mean as far as gender? Hermaphrodite. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Ginger. She knows. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh. I well, mean, I'm like y'all. I had that look for, on my face just like y'all had. Blue for so I black for well, what, The real question is what kind of look did the husband have on his face? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> I got me a little drink and slid outside the fence, but I did look back like that right there. And he had the little thing. You, you talking about deer in the headlight? <laughs> it was like a moose in the headlight. <laughs> mm. And so I got out of there. But I'll tell you what I did Smart here. Decision. Well, by the time I drove off, I heard gunshots. So I am not. I don't know what happened, but I left. Well, so and I left, and I said, I'm headed to that damn diner where I'm well, going. Did you, did well, you notice, thing. though, his story started out with, we had a little drink. Yeah. Mm. And as he left, what did he do? Snagged Got a little, him a little Snagged drink. Had a little drink. For the road. At, at, you weren't Just even saying. you weren't even invited to that, were you? <laughs> no, you I, had an open I, was driving, <laughs> I was traveling. He I thought seen he was a party, though, so he pulled in. <laughs> and well, and I did. I thought either I'm gonna get something to eat. Are we gonna have a party? You yeah, know, it was gender reveal <laughs> diner theme. Yeah, so. he got him a couple of drinks out of it, so it's all good. Well, I could think I can diagnose this one. What happened was. <laughs> <laughs> is the gunshots were celebration because you said it was multicultural right? that's right that's right um hispanic people love to shoot guns when they're happy or fireworks yeah either one whichever one they have more of i like fireworks too to be honest yeah it's safer th- i think yeah but guns mm. they do they do like to you know pop off a couple rounds pow, 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 pow. you know amen or whatever yeah <laughs> and then <laughs> but also the pinata gave that away so yeah, that's right. taken care of there. Oh, so yeah. Two, yeah. The family was uh, of Asian descent, I'm assuming. Wife was. Okay. okay. The And see, this is all where it's coming together now because the, the black in the dust, you know, or whatever, was one of two things. It was either asbestos because uh, <laughs> that's all they had or it was for, hey, you know, we're not going to reveal a ginger. I mean, a gender, <laughs> because this is baby number three, and the people's, you know, republic's not going to let us have this one. Uh-huh. So that's what it was. That, this is kind of a, you know, hey, this is a happy celebration. On, yeah, have a drink, you know, have yeah. fun, eat some pizza, because yeah. I'm sure they had pizza. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they had they pizza. Had pizza. And I think part of the problem too was is you know, only Spanish word I know, C. So mm-hmm. every time I walk through, people talk to me, C. See, and I guess they asked me do I want a drink because they kept saying see, and I kept, they kept handing me stuff. So mm-hmm. I, you know, here we go. Yeah, well, well, we always thing. get back <laughs> to that same main <laughs> topic. Well, that's but I won't be stopping at any more random parties anymore. You know, I wouldn't today or tomorrow. <laughs> Not till next week. Well, I would it this I weekend. Working, so. mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had another run in with a big old heifer lump. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she was in the, and this was. She didn't have one, a duck, did she? <laughs> nah. Mm-hmm. This one was uh, in a little old Rav Four, just beat all the shit, with no tent on any window. Hell, some of the windows probably weren't even in there. <laughs> and she was in the left lane, going slow, and I'm, you know, behind her trying to usher her out of the way without using, you know, hand gestures or horn beeps mm. or firearms. Yeah, yeah. That was you trying to be too. polite with it. Yeah, yeah. We get to a traffic light and stop. She's kind of checking herself out in the mirror or looking at me, getting angry. I couldn't tell. But then she, uh, she was like I said, a, you know, big. She was a heifer lump, hefty she, lady. Yes, and she starts just kind of digging in her ear, you know. Uh oh. The next thing I know, that arm goes. Huh? Like she was a dog no. scratching, uh-huh. and I was like. So uh-huh. I what you doing? did what any normal human being would do. I got in the right lane. Blew the horn at her. Eased up beside her, put my window down, said, hey, you shouldn't be in the left lane. I'm sorry you have fleas. And I took off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your good deed of the week. Mm-hmm. You enlightened her. 
And I didn't call her a, you know, a DFB. So. No, dude. Well, that's the thing, man. You every day, I think, you know, we're getting better at, you know, not being, you know, man, not being as harsh. You know, yeah. To people who. I'm don't pretty sure it. I'm not getting any better. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm more selective. Maybe not any better. Maybe more selective. Yeah. You know. What I've noticed just is, just, just like you said, people. they have lumps. Mm-hmm. Why do they always drive a little bitty car? Always. Um, because they got you got a big heifer lump and a little bitty car. Well, it back may up. not be that it's a little bitty car. It just appears a little bitty with them in it. Relative I hadn't thought about that. It Size could be an El Dorado stretched out, but it looks like a dang a little bitty car. Because yeah. mm-hmm. the heifer lump. Yes. Yes. Now, you guys in a Corvette versus me and Caleb in a Corvette. Right. Same type thing. You know? Right. That's that's probably the case. Or that's astute. That's an astute. Yeah, you guys in the Corvette, they think, oh, these guys are, you know, retired, headed to Florida. Yep. Us, they think, we're going to need a shoehorn to get them fatties out of there. <laughs> you know, and where'd they steal it Take them to the shop. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah. going to need some WD-40 and a shoehorn. Because this one is wedged in tape. We might want to bring the winch. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of cars, time? you know, we had, uh, last week we had three cars stolen from the dealership. Mm. You know. And, and. and Look at Earl acting surprised. And, 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 <laughs> I'll bring the damn thing back, okay? Funny thing about it is, they stole one of them at the showroom. Yeah, right off the uh, floor. Right off the floor. So they had to open the doors. Mm-hmm. You know, they didn't run through it. They opened the doors. And, and listen, opened the doors, drove the car out, shut the doors back, and locked, locked the door yeah. back. Yeah. Boy, off the showroom. Kind of person I am. Well, this is like <laughs> gone in 60 seconds type shit. And yeah, because they got uh, a Hellcat and, you know, uh, one of them high-speed Durangos, you know. Well, just and just the, the sheer fact of the politeness of shutting back the doors and locking <laughs> yeah. them, even though you you, you stole, the you thought know, $200,000 worth of stuff. <laughs> that was the thought process is, yeah, we stole these cars, but we don't want nobody else coming here to steal nothing. Yeah. We better shut these doors. Yeah, we better <laughs> shut like these doors. inside job for me. <laughs> well, yeah. see, the funny thing about it, I was talking to the, you know, the deputy they sent out, you know. The single deputy they sent out. Probably. Barney. Barney. Mm-hmm. And I was talking to him, and I said, listen, when y'all catch these guys, okay, I want you to call me, because I want to come down and meet them. I got some questions. You do? He said, yeah. I said, yes, I do, because these boys got balls that big. <laughs> I mean, they broke into the dealership, then broke out of the dealership. And then put it back the way they found it, as best <laughs> they could. You gotta cover your tracks. I'm just saying that's the way I would. Well, that's my thing. Like if you go back and you can see on the camera them, they got towels or they got gloves on, just wiping the handles and stuff. I'm like, dude, this is. You're not stealing the damn, you know, crystal skull yeah. from, you know, what's his name? Agrabah. Uh, Indiana Jones. You know, you ain't Aladdin. doing that. What are you doing? Aladdin. Yeah. You know, what was his name? I don't know. Uh, but you ain't doing that. But, like you Roger. ain't got a bit. Like I, I get, and also the sheriff isn't gonna come in and fingerprint. That door. Yeah. So, like, I get it, but also I feel like you're wanting some attention. If He's going to come in this. loose-handed, open the door, and they're going to be like, you're not going to dust for fingerprints? He's like, well, my fingerprints is on it now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't steal them well, cars. <laughs> well, yeah. they, you know, they, they, they broke out a little window about that big. Mm. Okay. That's how they got in. Damn. Yeah, so, they, so we got, got windows that's 10 feet too. high, so yeah. they was considered about that. Bust that little window. It won't cost that much to fix it. Right. And listen, when you get in there, we know the camera, you know, the the hookup for the cameras all the security cameras it's right there just cut it cut it at one place don't go around and cut all of them just yeah. cut that one sounded like an inside That's job 100 percent well, listen what I, would I was at home in the bed so don't uh, don't tell oh, me about inside it. job i don't know nothing about it and you was all by yourself oh it? yeah i was gonna say you can't steal three cars morning. by I yourself mean, about six o'clock in the morning <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, okay one piece of that story can definitely exclude a couple of your boys. Uh, little window. <laughs> that's got Earl Road all over. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah. I told you I'd bring them back. <laughs> well, that. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, man. We hope, you know, justice is served. That's what you're yeah. going to say. You you're talking about half a lump. <laughs> no, it was something to go along with the cars that were missing. Well, Shit. they wouldn't give me that job as the damn chief donut maker, so I said, well, I'll show your ass. I'll go get my own Hellcat. I'll show you how to make a donut. Wasn't that Garfield, wasn't his owner named Hellcat? Or was he, what was it? Garfield, remember Garfield? The cartoon? His name was Garfield. Cartoon his, Cat. Hard yeah. Hat? 
Huh? Hard hat? I thought it was Hellcat. Might something. have been Hellcat. I don't know. What were you talking Dilbert? about? Dilbert? Yeah, look at that like we are know. Are talking about Dilbert? Or is that? <laughs> Who is Gilbert? <laughs> Dilbert. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we've had two different distinct childhoods here. Yeah. Yeah. Gilbert Rogers Godfrey. And ours, Who is so. Gilbert? <laughs> I'm, getting the, I'm getting the comic strips mixed up all combined. We no, grew yeah. up in different eras. Earl, you know. yeah. well, who was the... Okay, I got it. Homer Simpson loved donuts, yeah. and Garfield was a cat. That eats lasagna. Yeah, Homer there Simpson worked up with Earl at uh, the <laughs> Nicker plant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what about uh, the Simpsons predicting all that dumb stuff that happens? Yeah, man, that's great. About the Ukraine and everything? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't have they predicted that one? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they had an episode on it. Oh, I didn't, didn't see that. Russia and Ukraine. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that one, but they have predicted a lot of stuff over the past 20 years or so. Yeah. Well, it ain't hard to predict. Okay. Philosopher. I, I mean, think about it. If you, well, I, we ain't supposed to get off into that, but. <laughs> if you put an idiot in charge, what's yeah. going to happen is not hard oh, yeah. to predict. Mm. Well, the one, the one Look that... at your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. 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 See? Living example yeah. here. There we go. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> the, uh, I, don't watch, I don't like The Simpsons. I'd rather watch King of the Hill and propane, you know, mm. and propane, propane accessories. accessories. Bobby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit, dude. But I yeah, like so you don't like The Simpsons. Who's but, Gilbert? Gilbert Godfrey didn't do the voice of Homer Simpson. I know that's what you're thinking. No. But he sounds kind of like him. The uh, no! Or whatever he does. Seth Curry does uh, all them voices, don't he? Seth Curry that <laughs> plays for plays basketball? Ain't it Seth Curry? Ain't that, who, I think you're thinking of Seth Rogen. <laughs> Myers. No, there's another one. Not Rogen, not Myers. The small one with the plain face. Red haired oh, one. Air oh, yeah. and all. Got does, two the, arms. does Chris's voice on Family yeah. Guy? Seth. Seth. Uh, McFarlane. Spearman. It's, that one's close. Joe it's, it's another Smith. guy. It's a little, he it's from little bowl here. cut Randolph. ginger. A little bowl cut ginger Seth. Yeah, dude. Seth. Uh, oh, Bolton. man. It's David's like, Bolton son. Oh, man. It's Seth. It's not Seth Myers either. I don't know. <laughs> I we'll think it, it is up. Seth Myers. Seth Myers is the guy who does the late night stuff. Saturday Night Live stuff. Yeah. You know. So you tell me it's not Steph Curry. <laughs> it's not Steph Curry or Seth Curry. Either one of the brothers. Either one. Yeah. Dale has nothing to do with it. <laughs> He's not involved. Well, I don't even like Curry that much, unless it's homemade. You talking about Ed Sheeran. Who are you talking about? <laughs> Popular ginger, on the right track, but not quite. Oh. I'm thinking that of guy's Seth. name is Seth Myers. No. No. Seth McFarland. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> well, any, what are we even talking about? No, we, we got off. We don't head. remember. We're talking about Homer Simpson's voice. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that no more. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we don't watch it. We, yeah. <laughs> we watch Bobby. I didn't mean to get us in the weeds there. With it's that. Seth Green. It's Seth freaking Green that I was thinking Who's about. Who's Seth Myers? Seth, Seth Myers is the late night guy. I don't real, think so. Real, Seth Myers is like the guy who has like that face. Like he looks like he's just getting you like when he's talking like he has a real like he like like whenever he's talking like you can't help to like listen because his face is his face is like a traffic cone looking at you and yeah. you can't avoid it oh, like that's yeah, that yeah, yeah, that you guy. know that's yeah this seth looks like he um he looks like an aggressive anteater yeah yeah that that seth myers does this seth looks more like a um, is that seth green is he the ginger yeah. is that the ginger yeah that's the ginger seth seth green is the ginger green Ed here <laughs> yeah. You talking about? No. No. Now you guys are getting me confused. <laughs> well, what were we talking about earlier? Muppets at church or something? I, I I've been <laughs> lost since I got here. I ain't got a clue what the hell we're talking we'll about. We'll pick it back. We'll pick it back up. Yeah, after well, you know what? We'll go to halftime, yeah, regain we'll our back. thoughts. Check out our merch store, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> me and Tim Jones was riding one time. And, uh, you remember when we had that Rick? Kim Jones Mustang, you meant Mustang ahead. Uh-uh. Well, we wrecked down below he Bobby. He had an orange Dodge Aspen that I remember. Yeah, we had that. Uh, he had a little white Mustang to start with. Aspen. Oh, Dodge uh, Aspen. We crashed down on Blackjack Road. Uh, down. Uh, yeah, I do remember Right Mustang. where uh, uh, <clears throat> Beverly and them live at, right? We crashed and went off the road there, and I was driving his car. 
because he was too drunk, <laughs> and I wasn't. <laughs> oh, well, now that's a shocker right there. <laughs> so, what anyway, see how we can revert back to the story? Mm -hmm. Had a little something to drink. Yeah. Anyway, I'm telling you, we was upside down on the side of the road in one of them creek areas down there. And <laughs> me and him's hanging upside down there. I mean, you know. I told him, you all right? He said, yeah, I'm all right. He said, you all right? I said, no, I'm hanging upside down for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, it's funny that you mentioned that because I had that conversation with, uh, with Jarrett the other day. Yeah. You know, we had a little a little, uh, little incident. So it's funny when you get in those things and your adrenaline's going, like, I don't know, man, that, like a, a calm comes over you and then you're like, Man, I should be hurt. It was, yeah, it was in slow motion. I'm not, though. That's what it was, then, slow motion. <laughs> and then you get a little happy, and then you get bit by a damn dog. <laughs> yeah. And then that's what happened. <laughs> and it brings it all back to reality. Yeah, and then, then, yeah, then I'm like, okay, well, maybe I, maybe if I was hurt, I wouldn't have got bit by a dog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I did break the news to my family that next year, mm -hmm. the Father's Day breakfast will be a little bit larger gathering. <laughs> Explain to them all the reasons why. A couple extra boys. And everybody concurred. Yes, we're better off. <laughs> <laughs> so, got all that took care of. So, we're good to go next February. So. There we go. Now we know. There we go. Probably by then, we'll be in the black. We'll probably just buy it. We'll well, is that okay? Yeah. See, that'll work, yeah. too. Oh, we're going to be we in the black. We got, down, we got stuff in a damn pan cooking up. You're about know. to be damn burnt. <laughs> Y'all going to eat Something it. Like that. <laughs> yeah, that's mainly what it's going to be. Yeah, we're going to eat it. We're going to eat it. All right. Hit them. All right. Here we go, gentlemen. Who now, what we doing first? here? This is a what, rapid, this fire. rapid fire. Rapid fire. Rapid fire with your boy. Speaking of rapid fire, y'all had any one of them rapid fire pizzas? Yes. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Very. Is it? Yeah. They yes. cook it. Where the hell does rapid fire pizza Fast. come from? Eastly. Yeah. Well, that's a long way to go for pizza. It is. Especially if it's, you know, a small one. Yeah. And they are. Well, what's different about them? I mean, when they say rapid fire, what, they put them in a fast microwave? The claim to fame is... is what is a claim to fame? <laughs> they gotta have it ready in what five, three minutes or something? Yeah, hundred and eighty seconds. Yeah. Your pizza's done. Now you gotta make it for I mean they gotta you it's kinda like Moe's, I think. You go through and you select all yeah. the type of I've never been in it, but we've gotten pizza from oh, it yeah. to go. But you go through and you tell them, Hey, I wanna you know, they got two sizes, small and smaller. <laughs> And then that you t yeah, personal well, you get six. or more personal. I get yeah, I get, you a couple get six. Of them. Yeah. And they, now listen, I know Josh was talking earlier about somebody's nutsack, but they got a damn cinnamon apple uh, pizza. Hold up, cinnamon, cinnamon apple, apple pizza. That's a dang muffin, not a dang pizza. They put it on top of the damn pizza. Boy, I ate it. I ain't got no balls. Dude, that's blew them right off like, my body. That's what I'm like people, directly off my body. People who people who are innovative like yeah. that, and you know, you know what? Food's always been this way. Pizzas, tomato sauce, nah, no. Nah. They just said nah to the. They bucked. Yeah. They bucked the narrative. You yeah. know, they said I'm gonna put cinnamon apple on it. I'm gonna put oh. some damn icing on it as a damn tomato sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna make a damn dessert pizza. Oh, they um, do a cherry pie one. I had that because I don't like cherries, but. Well, now that doesn't sound so. To it, but but they put all that on there, and then they throw it in that that hell oven and yeah. cook it for 180 seconds. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then it's ready to go. You get it to your table, burn all your taste buds off, and then a couple minutes later, you finish it. Yep. <laughs> what, what, I think I'm gonna hold off on the rapid fire, fire pizza. pizza. Well, my, a while. My, <laughs> how they stoke this fire to get it up? Maybe how fast it cooks. I think they got a small nuclear reactor in there. What well, yeah. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Well, I was thinking laser, but you well, might be right. Could be, could be. I think laser, they use the same work. kind of oven that they cremate people in. That real hot get one. Real, real hot. Super hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How hot does it well, get Well, maybe in not there? that Yeah. I don't know. Hot enough to damn burn stuff is all I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. know It'll burn everything except your heart. Yeah. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> but yeah, we have had I don't know about the fire. sources. Pizza, and it is good. Yes, I'd recommend. It. Well, I just wonder what that when it said rapid fire pizza because I mean I was thinking, well they're gonna put it in the oven and I don't know shoot it or I don't know what they're gonna do. How they what's rapid fire? Domino's has got the little the conveyor belt oven, oven. you know, mm -hmm. and their conveyor belt runs at about a quarter RPM. That rapid fire one runs at about seventeen RPM. Mm -hmm. it's way hotter, way less time. Oh yeah, and way better than Domino's. Yeah. So, well, hell, most turd pies better than Domino's. <laughs> Good call. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Good call. All right. Hold on a minute. Oh. 
How do you know moose turd pie is a better denominator? That's what we ate when I was growing up. There you go. <laughs> it's like that lady out in uh, Colorado who does them uh, moose poop. She just bags it up and sends it to people. That's a real thing. Look it up. <laughs> All right. uh, rapid fire. When you were going to be here. Yeah, no. I, I, well, she can carve them into little stuff, too, like little knickknacks. What carve you? them? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't the one playing well, with the turds. Now. She's carving saying, turds. Well, she's what carving kind turds. of little animal are you getting? Well, she's bagging up turds, <laughs> carving them. You know, like a little carved soap, like a little carved soap, and make little figurines. You know? Do you use it as soap? So I wouldn't. So, so when somebody asks her what she does, don't you use she does. Mustache she wax. <laughs> <laughs> no, where he gets his mustache? Smell like shit. <laughs> no wonder. Uh, All right, I got some rapid fire questions okay, for each on, of you. Back on topic for each uh, of you. Now these are these are uh, you know directed for each of you in a certain way because I feel like the insight you can give is is respective to the question. Okay, who wants to go first? Okay, yeah, I'll go first. All right, okay, Kay, you're the caretaker for four geriatric patients in the late stages of life. Three are stricken with dementia, and the fourth is completely mentally sound but is nonverbal. How long do you think it would take you? For, how long do you think it would take you to guide them out of an escape room? Oh. Mm. <laughs> do they all have to make it out alive, or can I just drag them out? <laughs> they have to be alive. Okay. Do they have to help? You are the escape room master. 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 Okay. And you have to lead them only with your voice. How long do you think it would take you? Because the one's nonverbal. So he can't communicate with the other ones. Yeah. But he's, he's mentally sound, so you could talk to him. So okay. You, All know. right. Probably. How big's a room? Uh, it's like 10 by 10. It's very small, especially for that many people, people that are in it. Yeah. yeah. And the, yeah. It would, I, I'll tell you this much. I don't know, like a time, like I don't know if it'd be 40 minutes or 11 minutes or whatever. Eight days. The first person who farts or shits i'll have us out of there in about 30 seconds <laughs> because if there's four geriatric people oh yeah you can count on one of them doing it oh, yeah. yeah they're gonna do it and it's gonna be horrendous <laughs> yeah it's gonna it's hurt not, it's yeah. gonna hurt all the rest of them yeah and it's gonna be one of the ones who didn't know they did it <laughs> oh, or they're yeah. gonna do it and then immediately forgot they did it <laughs> yeah. and then it's just gonna and they're not gonna be like oh oh sorry i farted mm -mm. you know it's just going to start seeping up, and then eventually it's going to hit me and the, uh, the one who's guy who can't talk. Yeah. And he's going to look at me and go, <laughs> I'm like, what, me? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then I'm going to start looking at the three others and then pick and the they one. And they're going to do the same thing. What, me? But you do yeah. feel you would be successful. Oh, yeah. I'd get them out. You think well, you that's the thing is <laughs> – it that would be the breaking point because I would try to figure out okay how can me and uh, no talking Larry mm -hmm. do this and just ha kind of have them along for the ride yeah just have them you wait yeah wait on to get out yeah and just kind of corral them into like hey just wait you know calm down and but then as soon as one of them you know Defecate. farts or sharts yeah. We out, dog. I'll break the damn door down. I was going to say, man, I feel like a lot of the... Like I'll the run through why, the door. Yeah, the reason why I ask that is because I feel like a lot of those are just drywall pieces put together. Yeah. Like they just make a room oh, like yeah. instead of it being an So you wouldn't try to get them yeah. like in a mamba line and ease them out the door right behind would, you? Or like no. try to feel the walls or something? <laughs> I would I would have them doing dumb stuff like that. Yeah, you could have the ones that aren't so with it feeling the walls. Yeah, that's what I need y'all to do. Feel the walls. See if you recognize anything. <laughs> yeah. You know. See if it reminds you of anything. See if it how to get out. Yeah. See if your great grandson's Outside. stuck in there. Get him out. <laughs> you know. Whatever. Yeah. But I would do it as soon as someone farted or sharted dog, we'd be out. I'd break down the damn door. So, so you say probably twenty minutes at the most. Yeah, because they're going to do it. <laughs> I was going to say yeah, probably within twenty minutes. One of them. Yeah, they're going to do it. Hey. Yeah, it's just a matter of time and who does it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Linda did it. And I'm Linda's surprised, just sitting surprised. there going. <laughs> sitting there like this. Like, we know you did it, Linda. She's like, who am I? I'm like, well, <laughs> shit. You Linda. You're the one who you Linda. Oh, shit yeah, you're Linda. You shitting Linda, you dog. Shitting Linda. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down over there, please. We got to do this. We got to figure out clues and shit. <laughs> so 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. at tops. 20 That's minutes. Fair. That's fair. Yeah. I figured you could do it in less than 30. That oh, was yeah. Mine. That was why. So let's see here. Be like Kool-Aid van, wouldn't you? Yeah. 
Whew. Bust was, through that door and be like, oh, my God. <laughs> Instead of, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I'm never doing this again. Because <laughs> yeah. the shit smell will just follow you out. Yeah. Like, oh, no. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, that's why. That's why he said yeah. it. <laughs> then they probably have me trying to, like, oh, somebody shit it in there. You got to. You know, you're not getting your deposit back. You know, <laughs> like I don't give a damn, dog. I broke down a door. I don't expect it back. Yeah, There's but I'm not cleaning that up. Paid for this trip to the escape room. Yeah, so I don't care. Call Senior Solutions and tell them they got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not yeah, taking I didn't these drive people. them here. Uh-uh. I showed up. Y'all paired me with them. <laughs> it's like getting paired with some dumbass when you play in golf. Like, oh, you go with those guys today. Yeah. Like that time we got paired with that old man who was. That was Buddy. Half straight. dead. That, that was me. Buddy. No, <laughs> straight up. This guy was on death door. This guy was, was like, no, what was he, 94? Yeah, he said he was 94. He'd served in, he might have served in World War II. He might have served in World War One. <laughs> he was you old. You never know. He was that old. Like, he's, he's so served, old. Yeah. We're on the green, and there's a stick about this long. He said, I'm going to go move that stick. That stick was a snake Yep. <laughs> that he almost picked up, and Josh said, whoa, whoa. That's a snake. Legit. <laughs> he thought it was a uh, a pine needle. Yeah. And the snake was a foot long. Right. So he wasn't doing well. <laughs> anyway. He wasn't doing well. So, so how two, bad did he two. beat y'all? <laughs> he did play pretty well. Only by a couple strokes. <laughs> he played pretty well. <laughs> Only by a couple of strokes. We weren't good then. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we're good now, but we were worse then. Yeah. Way worse <laughs> We were worse then. then. Oh, yeah. For sure. All right, Dad. The next one's for you. All right. If, if you're in a truck riding down the interstate at 80 miles per hour. Which I do every day. So I figured you'd know. <laughs> the wind is coming at a southwestern direction, pushing you toward the north stream. How long do you think it would take you to find, slaughter, and prepare a wild hog for Easter lunch? Also, the day is Friday. The good one. Ah. So I only got like uh, <laughs> only got like 24 hours to get this hog ready, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Find, slaughter, and prepare. Which way did you say the wind was blowing? Uh, southwestern, pushing you toward the north stream. Hmm. It would have been a whole lot better if it had been an easterly wind, wouldn't it? That's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and how fast was I going? I knew that would throw you off. 80. Uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> In the left lane, holding up traffic. Mm-hmm. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, first of all, if I could find one, you know, no, and be, be in the area where they at, I could take one out with the truck. Yeah. So that'd be yeah. the easy part. Mm-hmm. All right. yeah. Now the hard part's gonna be getting his fat ass up in the middle of that truck, <laughs> me by myself. You gotta, you gotta have to get him on a hill, kind of like our old backyard. Yeah, like well, you're gonna have to right. get him on that hill, back the truck up, maybe. Put the tailgate down, and hopefully he rolls in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just the only way I'm getting him up. Then well, that's the thing. You could get on, you could lay on the ground and use your legs like a leg press, yeah, like shove him towards it. <laughs> <laughs> so the easy part's over, getting the hog dead and getting him in my truck. So we figured out how to do that. Now, the there next thing is we got to cut him up. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, the YouTube video on how to process it? Yeah. Because you only what got What the hell would I need that for? Who am I calling? Earl. 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 <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. I know Earl knows how to, you know, process it. Well, see, I would have cut the little bastard up before I got him in that truck. There you go. A whole lot easier to load. Field dressed him. Mm-hmm. Undressed him. How, how, which Field way was the wind blowing? Which way was the wind blowing? Southwestern. And I didn't have a chainsaw. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. So I call Earl. I said, Earl. I said, uh, we borrowed listen. Pulse off. No, I won't tell him. I'm saying, Earl, listen. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, uh, I'm going to tell you something. And you can't tell nobody. And you can't ever mention it again. Ever. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to need to pull in your yard there. And I'm going to need you to help me do something. And like you can't never mention it again. Ever. And Earl's going to say, It's a secret. How long before you get here? That's what <laughs> yeah. he's going to say. Yeah. You know. Good so that's so what there's I'm a lot of stuff we can't ever mention again. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you. You can probably tell people because hog season is all season. You know. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about the DNR looking after you. It's like anything, the upcoming you know? horse season. Yeah, yeah, but it's where he was going down the highway at 80 mile an hour. Uh, we can't yeah, talk about. Uh, it. Yeah. Like that. Not only that. Plus, you know, if you get if you get in the habit of telling everything. You might tell something you don't want to tell. Right. So best That's thing right. is to get in the habit of not telling nothing. That's right. Because you, ain't Cause you never know about the statute of limitations, whether they run out or not on mm-hmm. the stuff you're talking about. You don't even have to worry about it. <clears throat> so you we get to Earl's thinking. house, and we get out the, the pole saw and cut this hog up. <laughs> <laughs> and then we carry him down to Wilson's down there. Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. And tell him, so I'm going to need this. I'm gonna need y'all to process this up for me. In a hurry. Quick. Yeah, and, and, yeah quick. And they're going to say, well, I'm going to charge you extra. Well, hell, I'll charge me extra then. And Fine. 
So they get it we all. We pay what you was going to charge normally to begin with. That's so right. What difference does it make? So they get that they get that whole processed up, mm -hmm. and then uh, we're gonna have bacon for Easter, babe. That's right. <laughs> Fresh pork, bacon, That's what I'm bacon, bacon, pulled bacon. pork, sausage, sausage balls. Yeah. So yeah. the next morning, be good. you know the the Easter 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 you know Sunday. Well, hey. we all made it. My house, yeah, and we all come in to cooking bacon. Yeah, I got like eight frying pans full of bacon. That's all we're gonna eat. Just and start a, a damn grease and fire. a skillet, and, yeah. we, and a skillet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it, I'm thinking, I, yeah, I could do it. I'm you pretty sure. Yeah, I think he could. He's think pretty, he can get it before he, before he, Easter Sunday. He, he's got a thought process of how to go about it. There you he, go. He, I believe you can. I believe you I can. I think it. you could skip a step though. Couldn't you just take it straight to Wilson's? Wouldn't they just do it all? <laughs> Yeah, but they're slow. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah, slow. that's probably not as fun. Right. Yeah, okay. I start saying, why are you thinking on fun? They want to follow these yeah. directions and just cut it here. And uh, no. well, yeah, there's only a certain amount of times you can cut something up with a pole saw, let's yeah. be honest. So yeah. just take, take a advantage of that. That's right. How often do you use a pole saw? You use it once a year? Very well, whatever Earl says I can. And the good thing <laughs> about it, we gonna, we, when we when I pull up to Earl's and it's yeah. in the bed of the truck, we're going we gonna to extend that pole saw all the way out. So we can stand on his back deck. Yeah, y'all going to sit over the house and cut that hog up. Yeah, uh, dude, it's like you, it's like you're painting a, you know, a damn, you you painting a damn field or something, you know, except you're cutting up a hog. Yeah, <laughs> we that's would what, cut it up. That's what front. I think in my mind. We would cut it up out front with a short pole saw. Yeah, but then like a me and Earl have to have a break smoke, mm -hmm. and we're afraid the church people drive by and see us cutting up a hog smoking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well they they instantly say they're going to hell. They're yeah, going, going to hell. Yeah, you guess what they say? Mm -hmm. It's probably one of them one of them satan, uh, satan, one of them demon rituals. They sacrificing mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We are for bacon. <laughs> yeah. Not weird. We're sacrificing it for nourishment. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Thank you for your sacrifice. So yeah, I could do that. I'm pretty sure you get that done. There we yeah. go. We're two for two right now. Mm -hmm. uh, well, no, like the pressure's on. Mine's kind of up in the air. The pressure is on. Wyatt, are you ready? Yeah. All Here right. So. Say you're a homesteader back in the 1800s in Central Texas. You're making it the best you can for you and your family amongst the wild, wild west. Mm -hmm. How long do you think it would take you to make an assless pair of chaps out of your only donkey to be able to ride the new horse you just stole without getting chafed? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let me before you start. <laughs> just let me say this: <laughs> if it was present day, he's already got a. <laughs> <laughs> that's why i had to lay it out because i figured he might like you gotta he might have them. Them. you gotta make him you I ain't got him already and it's your only donkey you gotta use to make the hide from but but the issue that i'm gonna have is part of what i've got to accomplish is to be able to ride a new horse without getting chafed mm -hmm. but if i got asses chaps i'm gonna get chafed the donkey's only so big yeah <laughs> Are you talking about your ass getting chafed? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you can wear pants. Yeah, I wouldn't ride it naked. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't ride no, it. No, no, no. Oh, I'm going to have on just, regular yeah, clothes. Yeah, you got regular yeah. clothes plus the chaps. Oh, oh yeah. you okay. had to wear the assless chaps oh, while you're yeah, riding nah, not oh, oh. I wouldn't. Nah. Down, dude, out in Texas, if you did that back in the 1800s, shit. Oh, they'd they'd, ride, a, they'd, a, they'd ride a movie probably. called yeah, Brokeback Mountain or something like that. They'd do something like that about you. Okay. Now, I'm going to. Kind of duplicate the previous story is mm -hmm. to say, all right, I got this donkey here. You got a plan that I got it that I got to skin and make chaps out of. Mm -hmm. Now this is a donkey that you've bonded with, also. Yeah, no, so, all your life. Yeah, this is your only animal. Like you just well, now, make, but no, now I got a horse. Well, you stole, stole yeah. the horse, but you've bonded with the donkey. Donkey's yeah. been there since day one. Donkey got to go. Donkey got to go. Huh, go. Earl, Indeed. Huh, Earl. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's like having a Vega and. A Porsche. Yeah. There you, you go. Know, the Vega's been a good old car. Yep. But, but you got to go. got to go. Vega got to go, and I got to go with a Porsche. Yeah. So, yeah, I believe I believe I could. What would his donkey's name be? Oh, well, I don't. It, it's going to be Chaps. That's <laughs> <laughs> what his new name's going to be. And I'm fixing to slice his ass up. You're you going to skin this donkey. You think you could get that done in like three hours? I mean, not the not the drying of the hide and all yeah, that process, that. you know, but the like the getting it cut out, you know, designing your chaps out Did of you his just skin. slit his throat first to let him. Go oh yeah, you got to bleed out. Yeah. You know. uh, so so I, I before think, you go any further, let me make sure I got all this. I'm gonna keep it in order now. You done slit this donkey's throat. Yep. And you fix the skin him. Yep. 
He did. All right, go ahead. <laughs> and I'm on. I'm on. So you got two sides. So you got a leg. You know, each side. You just kind of draw it out there. And, yeah. And you just slice him right around. You know, if you're real good, what you could do is, is you could just cut from like his back, like the top of his rump. You know, around. Yep. And then just kind of like take his take his pants off of him. And then put them on. That, that's basically you what you got. You got the leg down each side, yep. coming over the back with your waist strap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Done. I mean, it, it, I'm satisfied. I can do that fairly easy. And if I had a knife, it'd make it a whole lot easier. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. You do you do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do get. You got some tools. You just ain't got a lot of animals. Yeah. Anymore. So now you got this donkey skin. To Frank well, you used to. Well, okay. And you yeah. got you some chaps made. Now you got to cut the ass out of your chaps. You know? Yeah, I know. So you well, <laughs> the thing about it is, is if you get like we were talking about, if you cut the around his, you know, circumference, <laughs> and you go to pull that, just pull the skin off. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I think you're thinking of not even dealing with the sides. You, yeah. You just got donkey. Oh from, yeah. You know, you got the rear end of the donkey, and you just pull his pants off, and yeah. you put them back on. You jump in. Yeah. There. If you, you cut know? around his, you know, b hole. <laughs> that's basically. <laughs> You could just because if you don't cut around it, well, yeah, then you and got, you pull it hard enough, is it going to like turn him inside out? Yeah, probably. what's going to happen? <laughs> I think that's what happens. Yeah, I mean, I understand your concept. Yeah, but you don't like the, the whole the leg, the, you know the legs only that big around. Whereas if you go to well, I know. <laughs> 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 Point taken. <laughs> Point taken. Wouldn't work for me. Would well, not that's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> it might work for just yeah. my shins. standard set of chaps. Okay. You're going to need a yeah. little bit more material. I got you. Hence going down the side there we go. with okay. the legs out Especially that way. Especially if you got more to work with. If you if you decided to wear clothes under them, you know. You're going to need a lot more. Yeah. Good point. Well, yeah, that would be like the damn skinny jeans of chaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did it that way. Assless chaps. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't have no butt in them. Well, you got to cut the hole out anyway. That's so, right. Yeah, they yeah. meant riding chaps. So now yeah. you got Any this donkey skinned. <laughs> yep. I got you some assless chaps made. Now what you going to do? Well, I, I, I reckon I'm going to sell my other chaps. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to ride his horse to wherever it is I'm we gotta going. got to break him in. You just stole him. You stole him. But yeah, you, I stole a damn horse. What's it to you? <laughs> <laughs> Was it your horse? <laughs> and I'm going to, where am I going after I get him rode now, you see? I'm, am I going to head back home or yeah. am I going to go on out west? So. Well, you got to keep yeah, riding because your kids ain't going to say, yeah, Daddy killed Daddy Slitter Goat with our donkey stroke and, I'm and turned him early. inside out. And we're going to have we're gonna have donkey steaks and donkey bacon, too, because oh, I ain't yeah. throwing the rest of them well, away. Well, that's the thing. No. You, don't, you don't not use anything back then because you're yeah. roughing it. I mean, you know? But I feel like if you did go out to California during the gold rush, you would have been one that hit it hard. You know, Got the damn oh, bullion. Yeah. Boom. One. Yeah, one I, think I, I think I could do that pretty, pretty, pretty easily. Well, shit, man. That's all I got. That's so, all I can come so, up with. So you could really. slit a donkey's throat. Yeah. And turn him inside out pretty easily. Again, yeah. If push comes to <laughs> shove. <laughs> oh, sure. <clears throat> well, Good I'm to glad know. to know that, Earl. I mean. Don't bring your donkey over to my house. <laughs> all I can tell you. He's liable to end up with a pair of ass of chips. Yep. Yep. Well, now that we've talked about it, we have a donkey. We That's do. That's what that trailer's out there for. We do oh. have a trailer. Right? We have a. Uh, it's all we, coming around. We just now. wanted to see if you thought you could do it. We're gonna bring him in here in a minute. We're gonna find. And out now we want to see if you can do it. Now we got to turn <laughs> the cameras off. <laughs> yeah. See if we'll, we can get some chaps. We'll cut them back on whenever he's got the chaps on. Yeah. So and that's it. Now here we go. <laughs>